This episode of Techzilla is sponsored by Full Sail University. We got a question from Bill who's looking to stream video from home while he's on the road. He says, does Robert or anyone else in the Techzilla crew stream from a Windows Media Center PC to an Android phone? If so, how? What apps, et cetera, do you use? Bill, near Athens, Georgia. Well, Bill, my app of choice for that very task is the Remote Media Center Live TV app for Android. I'm streaming it right now, actually. It's $8 in the Play Store. iOS users, you may recognize that this app is actually based on the sweet Remote Potato app that's available right now. And to see it in action, well, I was trying it last night, and I found the overall quality was almost unwatchable. Uh, there was pixelation no matter if I was watching standard or high def. However, this morning, the, I was contacted by who I believe was the author, who said, hey, I noticed you downloaded this last night. I just put up a brand new beta this morning. I updated from the Play Store. It improved the video quality, and it made it faster to connect to my PC at home that is streaming this content live right now. The setup was simple. You, there's a companion app you download for free and you install that on the home media, uh, on the home theater PC. You point it to your media files, say if you want to also share pictures or video files you may have stored on there. You connect it then with the smartphone app and la la, it works. Uh, the live TV authors recommended that the media player uh, that you're gonna use on your phone, you use it with a hardware accelerated player. Uh, for this, I'm actually using the MX player that's pretty popular on Android. There's an option within there to enable hardware decoding it helps smooth out performance overall. Now, there are also two connection profiles available. I set one up for my fast local connection when I'm at home, and that extra bandwidth allows me to crank up the quality. So instead of watching standard def, at home I'll switch it to high def and 16 by nine to get the full quality I can, at least from my, my mobile device. And the other profile, I use that to connect to 3G, 4G, and I'm using a dynamic DNS service to keep my home theater PC accessible. Now, I felt the interface overall, I had a few typos, needed a little bit of polish, but- It's a beta. The functionality is there, though. <laughs> and I was thrilled to have access to my TV channels and recordings, pretty much anywhere I have a decent cell signal or Wi-Fi. And the release notes for live TV mentioned that you, it helps to have a relatively fast PC. They recommend to set up with the fast PC with combination of standard def channels. Will give you the smoothest experience possible when you're streaming that video data. And I was pretty pleased actually. I have an i3 powered uh, mm -hmm. home theater PC that proved plenty potent for working on this task. So. How is this going to work compared to something like a Slingbox? We showed off the Slingbox 500 a few weeks ago. Totally. Uh, you know, if you already have a home theater PC, skip the Slingbox. If all of you have is a set-top box and no home theater PC, think about buying a Slingbox. Totally. Similar functionality. If you have a cable or satellite set-top box, the Slingbox is something you want to consider. It will give you similar functionality in terms of being able to interface with your set-top box, control it remotely, and then stream that video to your smartphone. And this includes all the channels you would normally receive at home in either case. Right. So if you're, if you're subscribing to you know, premium channels in addition to the standard channels, it doesn't care. It's just whatever you can put out of your set-top box, you can then bring to your mobile device. We should point out that the biggest challenge for streaming video from home is almost always going to be your upload speed if you're running you know, slower DSL. If you're, basically, if you're cable or fiber, you're probably okay. DSL, you might be in trouble unless you have yeah. a really fast DSL package. For my setup at home, I have five megabit upload speeds, and it works pretty well. I'm actually... I'm just surprised how much this program changed in the last 24 hours. So, right. uh, but again, yeah, upload's definitely going to help. And of course, on a local network when I'm at home, the bandwidth's insane. So I'm getting full quality there. And it's, it's really nice and it's helpful. And also, too, if you want to stream other content that's stored on that computer, like pictures or, or music files as well, the software supports that. But I focus mostly on the on the, the TV streaming side of it. Did you say it was eight bucks? Yeah, eight bucks for the live TV version of the program. Now, if you don't want to mess with the live TV part, they have the standard app uh, for that for Media Center, uh, Remote Media Center, that gives you all the other functionality without needing to pay the uh, the eight bucks to get the uh, the live TV feature. This is the live version. If you don't need the live version. You can save eight bucks, but of course, you know it's always nice to donate to your to your app developers that you're supporting. One if way or you like the app, if you like it, try to help the person <laughs> who wrote it eat. So buy something from it. Totally. Hey, if you haven't heard, we spun HD Nation back up into a full-length show over on the TechFeed channel. Go to youtubecom TechFeed, scroll down, and find the HD Nation shelf. You'll find all of our episodes up there. Or subscribe to youtubecom TechFeed to get your guide to the best in HD content and home theater gear, no matter what your budget is.
The mobile app industry is on fire right now. That's why you should consider Full Sail University's online mobile development bachelor's degree program. You'll learn the programming and business sides of mobile development, giving the skills you need to conceptualize, develop, deploy, and market an application from start to finish. You'll explore advanced programming languages, visual frameworks, usability principles, and app deployment for iOS and Android operating systems. Students in Full Sail's Project Launchbox program receive a MacBook Pro preloaded with industry software, plus iOS and Android devices. Courses are delivered through Full Sail's immersive online education platform, which maximizes the capabilities of the Mac, giving you a learning experience unlike any other. Between the App Store and Google's Play Store, over 50 billion apps have been downloaded with no signs of slowing down. If you're ready to master the technology and software to compete in this rapidly growing industry, visit fullsale.edu slash to learn more about this online degree program.